E. V. S. Mahabhen. I am a consultant physician and professor of medicine at Age Institute of Medical Science, Mangalore. So I have been treating diabetic patients for the last 29 years. One of the most common symptoms uh, they they ask or or they come with is dizziness or giddiness. Uh, you know. Dizziness and giddiness are often used interchangeably to describe the sensation of lightheadedness, unsteadiness, and a feeling of fainting. Dizziness is one of the symptoms of, uh, uh, of many symptoms of hypoglycemia. So, dizziness in a diabetic patient is quite often, maybe more than 75% of the time, it is due to hypoglycemia. But a physician should also know that there are other many causes of giddiness or dizziness in a diabetic patient other than hypoglycemia. So in my list, hypoglycemia is the first one uh, which causes this symptom. So what is the second the cause? Second cause is hyperglycemia itself. It is not only hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia also can cause giddiness mainly especially when the patient is having diabetic ketosis or DKA, wherein they lose a lot of water and uh, due to excess urination and also dehydration, which causes the decreased blood pressure and they may feel dizzy or giddy. Apart from these two conditions, there are some other conditions too, which can cause dizziness in a diabetic patient. And that uh, other causes are hypertension blood pressure itself. Uh, as you all know, both hypertension, higher blood pressure and low blood pressure, both can result in dizziness or giddiness. One of the most common cause of low blood pressure, especially in a diabetic, is diabetic peripheral neuropathy, especially when they have autonomic neuropathy. They feel dizzy or giddy when they start walking from the sitting position or when they get up. So this is very important cause one should not forget, the postural hypotension. The other causes are uh, probably the neuropathy itself. They may feel unsteady because of the peripheral neuropathies. The next cause is cardiac because most of our diabetic patients, they also have underlying cardiac issues. So a cardiac failure with a low cardiac output or arrhythmias are Again, a very potential causes of dizziness. Apart from this, we have medications. A diabetic patients may be taking a lot of other medications. Some medicines, see, for example, uh, uh, antihypertensive medications itself can sometimes bring down the blood pressure and they may feel dizziness. The other causes are, especially when they have peripheral neuropathies, we use a lot of gabapentin, uh, uh, and and uh, not ritalin and things like that. All these drugs are also capable of producing um, giddiness or dizziness in a patient. Then we have anemia. How a diabetic patient lands up with anemia? There are many causes, but one of the important causes is a diabetic nephropathy. And uh, as a result of nephropathy, in the long run, their hemoglobin level comes down, and they will have low hemoglobin and again that can cause dizziness or giddiness. And vasculitis, different type of vasculitis, okay, especially when there is a cerebral ischemia, a lot of changes, uh, ischemic changes in the brain, again they present with dizziness or giddiness. And finally, one should not forget about the vertigo, uh, especially uh, when they have uh, the vestibular dysfunction. But there, it is more the feature of more uh, of a vertigo than the dizziness. So, in a nutshell, when a diabetic patient complains of dizziness, it is not only because of hypoglycemia. There may be other underlying causes, and a treating physician should be well aware of these things. And the examination and the history, everything has to be focused on these factors too. So probably if we can identify the underlying cause and treat it properly, we can uh, cut down the episodes of dizziness, but still 
the first cause of dizziness or giddiness in a diabetic patient is hypoglycemia itself. Thank you.